Hello and welcome to another in a series of videos designed to help keep you up and running while saving you time and money. I'm Scott Beckett, VP and Director of Sales. And I'm Christina Beckett, Founder and President of USA Roller Chain and Sprockets. And today we're here to show you how to measure and identify your leaf chain. Leaf chains are commonly used on boom trucks, bucket lifts, fork lifts, elevators, and other material handling equipment. We get calls all the time from customers who aren't quite sure what chain they need to reorder. Christina, what's the best way we can make sure that the customer is ordering the right chain? Well, first of all, I would have them take a look at the side plate of the chain. There are usually some letters or numbers there that will help us ID the series of the chain. In most cases, they are stamped with an AL or BL and followed by a number. The AL would indicate that it's a lighter duty leaf chain with a plate thickness of the same corresponding size ANSI roller chain and may not be suitable for heavy lifting applications. The BL indicates heavy series and has a side plate thickness of the next size up corresponding ANSI roller chain. Now, there are other series of chains that we occasionally see such as LL and LH. While not as common as the AL and BL series, they are available. That's right. The LL would indicate a lighter series metric leaf chain and the LH would be the heavier series with the thicker side plates. Following the letters, there should be a number or series of numbers that will give us the rest of the information to properly identify the leaf chain. Right, Christina? Well, not exactly, but we are getting closer to having all the information. The number on the side of the chain indicates the size or pitch of the chain without the zero. For example, the number 8 indicates that it's a size 80 or 1 inch pitch chain. Okay, so in this case, we're looking at a BL series chain with heavy side plates and a 1 inch pitch. What other information do we need to make sure we provide the correct chain? Well, before we move forward, I want to go ahead and make mention that if there are no stampings on the side plate, letters or numbers, then you want to go ahead and take this opportunity to measure the side plate thickness to make sure that you're ordering the correct series of leaf chains. If you take a look at the two chains side by side, these are both number 80 chains, but the BL series is noticeably larger due to the thicker side plates. Also, the plate height is good to check because the metric versions of this chain have shorter side plates. And the pitch of the chain by measuring the distance from the center of pin to the center of pin on one of the outside links. The measurement is right on for the number 80 or 1 inch pitch chain. That's right, Scott. Now we're ready to identify the lacing or leaf pattern. Show us what you mean by lacing or leaf pattern. These are the terms that are used to describe the plate configuration of the assembled leaf chain. Once we have that figured out, we'll have everything we need to get us the right part number so that we can provide you with the correct replacement leaf chain. Alright, we're getting close now. While there are many different standard plate configurations out there, there are also some special or made to order configurations and that's why it's so important that we know how to properly identify the series of chain you have. Lay the chain out on a flat surface so you can easily count the leaves. Starting with the outermost leaf or plate of the outside link, count all the way across. Then you count the leaves on the inner link all the way across. Awesome, so this is a BL-866. That's right, now we just need to know what length of chain is needed and we'll be ready to order your replacement leaf chain. The standard size leaf chains are commonly stocked in 10, 20, and 50 foot reels. The smaller series are sometimes stocked in 100 foot reels or larger, depending on the manufacturer. Also, if a special length is needed, we can normally provide that within a few days lead time to assemble or cut from a larger reel. If your chain's not making a continual loop or ending in terminal blocks, Sometimes if you don't know the exact length, it's going to be better if you order just a little bit longer strand and then adjust that length on site. Yes, better to have too much than not enough. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so if you're going to be terminating the two ends into something requiring a strand to begin and end with an outer link, we'll just need to know that configuration as well. We here at USA Roller Chain and Sprockets highly recommend that you would replace the entire length of chain or chains on the piece of equipment being repaired. Never ever repair the chain by adding in new chain with the old existing chain. This will help ensure the safe operation of that equipment as well as the safety of those working in or around the equipment. Right. And remember, you don't have to be a leaf chain expert, you just need to know one. We are here to answer any questions you have or help in any way we can. That's right. 
We not only want to make sure you get the correct chain, we want to make sure you get the highest quality chain at the best possible price while experience the best in customer service. So give us a call or send us an email today and experience for yourself what makes USA Roller Chain and Sprockets the best choice for all your industrial chain needs. I'm Scott Beckett. And I'm Christina Beckett. And, and we, we look, look forward, forward to, to working, working with, with you soon. soon.